How's it going today? This is Brad at AftermarketTractorParts.com. All right, so we got an S690 John Deere's big machine they made back in there a few years back. Um, we got a uh, mechanical clutch failure for the uh, separator engagement clutch. Um, bad deal. The machine actually shut down in the field. We had a bad fuel pump. Um, plugged the machine. Um, in the process, when we got they got it started back up, uh, the separator stayed engaged would not disengage. Um, did a few tests, we kind of figured what the issue was. So we're getting ready to tear apart. I'm gonna send, take this whole engine gear case off and uh, get to the uh, main clutch and assume, I mean, it smells like it's burnt. So I, we're under the assumption that's a problem, but uh, I'll show you a few steps we're gonna do to get it done. So thanks. Okay, so we got our S690 here, tore down. Um, it's a big old mess up there. So if you guys are ever gonna do this job, be prepared. Um, it took two of us, about 10 hours, to get to where we're at. Eight, meh, close to 10 hours. Um, so we were right, the clutch was junk. Uh, I'm gonna bring it over here and show you the clutch. The uh, plates, obviously they're junk. This your jump. So we made the right diagnosis. Um, so if you're going to do this job, a couple tips. Um, I'll try to flip the camera around and show you a few things here and uh, see what we can do. All right, so there's your engine gear case. Um, that's where the clutch goes. Uh, once you get it out, it's not a big deal to get the clutch out. Uh, probably the trickiest thing maybe is how you're going to hold this big dude when you get it out. Um, it's about 600 pounds, so it ain't crazy heavy. What we did, we put one uh, anchor there. And we strapped around that. And we pulled it out about six inches. And then eh, maybe four inches. And then we put the two mounting bolts back in it. And we put a ratchet strap from here back to the lift. Um, and it worked pretty good. Uh, no complaints about that, uh, but you got pulled out long, far enough to get your uh, strap around these and then back to your, however you're lifting it, you know, your hoist. Um, there's a lot of stuff you got to take off. There ain't much left up there. Um, I don't try it in the field, in my opinion. Uh, you might as well drain all the oil to start out with because otherwise you're going to get it all down. Um, we did leave the hydro assembly up there. Um, you see it hanging right there. That's probably not the prettiest way to do it, but it kept us from taking a bunch of other crap off and it, it was fine to leave up there. So, uh, I don't know. I wish you luck. If you're going to try it, give it a shot. Uh, if you got any questions, go to the website. Uh, my number's on there. Give me a call. We'll help you out. So, good luck. put back together um, everything works properly um, real happy the uh, we had the correct diagnosis on the clutch being bad a couple tips for you um, so if you want to test that um, you can check pressure going to that clutch um, there is a gauge for it up there uh, 150 to 180 I think is the pressure reading we had 175 we had that before so we knew it was um, getting pressure to run um, but the clutch drag was causing a problem Couple tips, um, support the engine better than what we did. We put one support on the rear, hoping it would hold it, uh, and it tipped a little bit for us. And unless you got two hoists um, where you can lift that up and lift the gear case up at the same time, you got a real tough time to put it together. We had to put a port power underneath it and do some stuff. 
Um, oh, I'm trying to think. Uh, these big ones, be careful. It's a different kind of system. The transmission's part of it. It's an open center hydraulic system. So on the S690 and the 680s, it's a pro drive, I think is what they call it. That's the way they're built. Don't much matter. Just need to know a little bit that when you're diagnosing. Um, no, we ran it for about an hour. Everything looks good, so we're going to send her home. So if you've got any questions, go to the website and uh, give me a buzz. Thanks.